What's up guys, Tim Little. Welcome back to Tactical Bassin. So hopefully you guys have been following um, our underwater series that we started a couple videos ago. Today I'm gonna change it up a little bit. We're gonna go back underwater and we're gonna watch this together and I'm gonna talk, do a little bit of voiceover, some things that I noticed and, uh, and let's go underwater guys, here we go. So the interesting thing about this, this uh, set of fish, the male and the female, as soon as I threw a bait in there, the male was MIA. That sound you heard right there is actually a trolling motor sound. It's kind of crazy the way things sound differently below water. So here's the female. Beautiful fish, beautiful bright black lateral line. But yeah, it was interesting that the uh, the male, as soon as I threw a bait in there, you'll see in just a second, he took a peek for a few seconds and then gone and and she moved in. She's she's about, she's close to a four pound spot. And uh, I know it's really hard to get size reference in these videos when everything looks the same underwater, but I eventually catch this fish. Probably could have caught her a lot sooner but the whole point of this series is to <laughs> see how the male just moved out and she just moved right in. So cool to see the underwater interaction. So I'm throwing a six inch Osprey tournament talon. Um, <laughs> The bait doesn't have very good action at slow at, at slow speeds, but uh, just like every video, down in the video description, we'll put all the links to the the baits used, the rod and reel, the line, all that good stuff, sunglasses. But uh, you can see the male is MIA, and typically the fish that I've that I've dealt with, um, the male kind of sticks around for quite a while until the the female kind of gets fed up enough and uh, then moves in to handle business. But right right here, right off the bat, male's gone and uh, she moves in. Now this was a really cool fish and I think the reason this fish is different than the last few fish, if you guys have been following that, the series, and if not, I'll put a, put a link up there um, so you guys can watch the previous videos. But uh, the first, the first few videos <laughs> first few videos dealing with males buck bass and this is a female and uh, you can see how she's not doing real tight spirals she's just kind of owning that area anytime that swim bait gets close she's she's on it but she doesn't really have the dorsal fin flaring up right right now later on in the video when she starts getting really agitated you'll see that but uh, you saw in that slow motion shot just a second ago, she's not trying to eat that bait. And and I think you guys, a lot of the comments down below in these videos, in the previous videos, you guys caught on to that. They're not trying to feed. They're just protecting their nest, protecting their bed, their, their area. And uh, she's a super cool fish. You can just tell she's kind of laid back, but as soon as that bait's in or around that area, she's on it. Oh, there's the male in the far right corner over here. Now, if this was a tournament situation, I would definitely have a stinger hook running off the back of the of that hook. Um, but again, not really trying to catch this fish right off the bat, just trying to show you guys the change in their attitude and their temperament. <laughs> Get off my bed. Move. Look at that eyeball just moving around. How cool. Again, not not trying to eat the eat the bait at all. Just just 
wanting it to get away, get away from their, their eggs, get away from their, their bed. Again, the purpose of this series is just instructional to to take you guys below the surface and uh, Matt and I are learning just as much as you guys are how different things appear under the water the little sounds the little you know the the jig rattles those sort of things how loud they are the trolling motor <laughs> A lot of these videos, if you actually, you know, again, we have a lot of stuff coming, but I've noticed that these fish are smart. Even if you, you know, get them riled up enough, most of the time they'll bite right behind the hook. So getting back to this fish's personality, like I said before, those other fish we were dealing with were the male, the bucks, but she's a female and she just moves in and she just owns that area. You can see she's not getting super riled up. She's not spinning in those tight circles and, and doing the, the running up and flaring and, and doing all those sort of things. She just means business. It's like she's warning, get away, get away, and get away. So here I'm gonna, I'm gonna try the jig. <laughs> First cast just nose down on it. Right there, if I would have popped that, she would have smoked it. But it's important to remember, guys, that all these fish, just like people, they're all different. They have different personalities. And one, one fish is going to react to a bait completely different than another fish. So it's important to try different baits. You can see right there, she's not even close to as riled up as she is with the swim bait on that jig. That's a Dirty Jigs Finesse Football with a uh, Gary Yamamoto Twin Tail Grub. Again, we'll put the links down below. So just a great little finesse presentation, real natural, real natural color. Got that rattle in there, so it, so it uh, makes a lot of sound. But again, not even not even close to as riled up as she was uh, with the swim bait. <laughs> you always need to make an appearance. My videos, cats trying to jump up on on my lap. So now I'm gonna go back to the swim bait. I can see that she's not not really feeling the jig. Such a cool fish. <laughs> Actually bit the hook right there. See her, see her body language, see how, how quick her movements are? Completely different than with the jig. And I start keying in on that in this video 
you know, above the surface, I see how she just changed right there. I mean, she's swimming that far rock, that big rock is, you know, eight, 10 feet away. She's swimming that full distance to come crack that thing. So, <laughs> right, she's getting riled up. Now, so I sense that and I know any, I could have caught this, look, see the dorsal fin right there? As soon as that bait was hitting the water, her dorsal fin started doing the sticking straight up. It's really cool in those videos, uh, the previous videos, if you guys caught on to that, anytime those those uh, males would <clears throat> hit the bait or uh, flash on the bait, they would throw that dorsal fin up. Pretty cool. But I can see I can see her, her change. I, hopefully you guys can too, just see how aggressive she's getting, her, her mannerisms. So I know right now I got this fish caught. As, as soon as I throw in a, a little finesse bait, I really like the, the Kitek, um, something that they can get in their mouth completely and I don't have to worry about foul hooking them. This, this fish is smoked. I could have caught her a lot sooner, um, but again, this is a, a instructional. There you go, first cast with the Kitek 2.8. Nope, just sucks it in. This fish fought really hard. So right there, I just flipped the switch and I'm actually back reeling. <clears throat> if you guys don't know what that is, it allows the handle of the reel to spin backwards. And there's a lot of misconceptions with back reeling, but if you guys are fishing light line, I'm, th I'm throwing six pound uh, Sunline fluorocarbon on there. And uh, you can see there's quite a bit of rocks and stuff. And this fish owned me, she was, she was a fighter. But back reeling, what it allows you to do, it allows you to take uh, any issues you might have with a drag out of play. If, you, if I literally hold that handle in place, that drag still works just like any other time. But now I can also back reel if that fish takes a real quick run. Um, so I can also back reel and the drag will work at the same time. And it's just, I've never lost a, knock on wood, never lost a, uh, a fish ever since I started back reeling. But you guys can see, such an awesome fish. You can see the change in mannerisms, the, uh, the more aggressive she got throughout the throughout the the few casts there, but uh, I hope you guys like these videos. Hopefully, you guys are learning something from them. I'm still fighting this fish. She, like I said, she owned me, um, but a lot of fun and very cool perspective to get underwater and see what's really going on with these fish. Remember guys, please subscribe. Down there in the in the bottom corner, you'll see the arrow. Hit that button, help Matt and I get to our goal of 100,000 subscribers. We're gonna continue to put out these three videos a week um, for you guys, instructional videos, to help us all be better on the water. Beautiful fish. You'll see the bait's right in, her, right in the roof of her mouth. Bam.